But before all that, the sport and Laura is here and Laura, the European football is coming thick and fast at the moment, isn't it? Isn't it just? Just when you thought it was all over, it's back with a vengeance. That's your breath. <laughs> Indeed, thank you very much. Good evening. Celtic are in action at home against AZ Alkmaar of the Netherlands in their Europa League playoff first leg. We don't have the pictures to show you, but it was Kyogo Furuhashi who opened things up. His sixth goal in as many games for the club. Then just after the hour mark, James Forrest's shot was deflected into the Alkmaar Marnet to make it 2-0 to Celtic. They've now they're now in stoppage time. We'll update you with that later on in the programme. Well, for the first time, Scotland could have four clubs playing European group stage football. Celtic and Rangers are guaranteed continental competition until December, should either falter in the Europa League playoffs. The Europa Conference groups will cushion their fall. But for Aberdeen and St Johnston, there is no safety net beyond their Europa Conference playoffs. Here's what their managers had to say today ahead of their first leg matches tomorrow night. And that is full time in tonight's game, Celtic winning 2-0. Now, Rangers are also in action tomorrow night. They play FC Alashkert at Ibrox as they aim to make the Europa League group stage. Now, the Armenian club may not be household names, but they have played in Scotland twice before in European qualifying. They claimed a surprise win over St Johnston on away goals in 2015, but lost to Celtic home and away in 2018. Last season, they became champions of the Armenian Premier League for the fourth time in their 31-year history. This term, though, they've only won two games from eight and are ninth in the league, having lost both of their domestic fixtures so far. But although they've not done too well this season, one man Rangers might want to watch out for is their Portuguese striker, Jose Imbalo. It was his double who helped them through against Kairat Almaty in the last round. Oh, well. OK, well, that's Alash Cart, but let's talk Rangers now. And I'm joined by Kilmarnock winner Chris Burke, who played for seven years at Ibrox. Hi, Chris, how are you doing? Evening, Laura, I'm fine. How are you? You're very well, thank you. You've played in some big European nights at Ibrox against the likes of Inter Milan, Manchester United, Villarreal, all teams we know well. But what sort of challenge is it when you play against a lesser known team? But I think it's Alash Cart. Is that me that you can say now? Alash Kert is what I believe Alash it to be. Kert, sorry. <laughs> well, the task is to win over, over two legs to reach the Europa League. How important is it for Rangers to get there? And do you think that this team is capable of doing it? Thank you. Well, Scotland's top women's teams have also been in European qualifying today, in their case, to reach the Champions League. Celtic... <laughs> Stephen Hendry claimed his first main draw win since his return to the professional tour with a 3-2 victory over Chris Wakelin in the first round of the British Open. What that's, a celebration. That's, that's how I'm going to end the sport every night. Now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What a legend. We'll throw you a tennis ball. You leap yeah, across the bar, yeah. fall over, catch it on your face on the ground, <laughs> down a pint down or a whatever. Pint. Don't drop the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drop the phone, Don't exactly. The phone. Yeah, no, exactly. He's, uh, maybe got a job in the, Good. In the team afterwards. Yeah, we'll start that from agree. next week. Yes, Excellent, Laura. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Laura. Now, tributes have been paid from across the entertainment world.